Hi, I want to do a quick review of the Renault Clio 2014 model. I'm not sure there's going to be a new model this year, but it's due to come out soon if it is. Uh, first thing I'll say is the key is a lot bigger than it needs to be. It's this huge thing. It's a little bit, it's too thick to be like a credit card wallet size. Um, I'm not actually sure why, why it's so big. But it's also got this boot release that doesn't actually seem to do anything, which I'm not being funny, if you got rid of that, you could get a tiny key fob. Um, anyway, that's the key by the way, there is no key. <laughs> On the back here, the what I don't like is this badge is sitting up slightly high, which I'm sure some kids will rip off at some point. Not, um, not here, but I'm sure some kids will have ripped these off these new cars. The boot size is about the same as the old Clio, in fact it pretty much looks identical. Um, the boot release, like I said, this button doesn't actually do anything. It's not as if it opens the boot for you, which would have been a nice function. This is the uh, DCI version. Uh, the other thing you've got is they've moved the door handles right to the top on the car, at the back, which looks nice, but I've got a four year old son that uh, wouldn't be able to open that, which could be a pain getting in and out all the time. The car seats are the usual cloth seats. Um, they've put seat belt sensors on, so you can actually know if the kids who are in the back have actually got their seat belts on, because it tells you on the display in the driver's seat. As usual with French cars, you've got that noisy engine on the diesels. It's very rattly, but it's, it's done 800 miles, so it's done a lot of miles. <laughs> no, it's uh, very noisy for the for a uh, diesel. But I will say, compared compared to the Yaris, the noise level on the motorway is a lot quieter in this. In fact, it was quieter than the Mercedes. You know, internally it's quiet. It's nice. Um, the display on the front here, as you can see, it's got a big big display. It's also got, if you go into the options, oh hang on, go to main menu, go home, you can see you can connect your phone, you can connect your, it's got a sat nav built in. Uh, let's just uh, set a route, create route, current GPS, just so you can see the picture of it. There you go, nice and clear, nice, nice little sat nav. Um, the engine's on the start stop. As you see, I was outside the car with a key, but you just press this button and hold the brake and it'll start the car. Will somebody be able to drive off with your car if you were outside the vehicle? I don't know, but I would expect a, a sensible sensor to actually notice that you're not actually in the vehicle at the time. Um, so if somebody drove off, I would have thought it would cut out, but I don't know. Um, you got your usual, Adjust your mirror. Uh, adjust your mirror uh, connector here for left and right. Electric windows. It's all very nice. But something you might find very useful down here is this bit here, uh, which is your speed control. If you push it right down forward, it was, you can restrict the speed of the vehicle. So you know, for example, you might set it at 70, so you don't go above 70 on the motorway. But if you push it all the way back, instead of forward, you can actually have your cruise control, which is e easy to set up on the dashboard. As you can see, yeah, if I show you this, you better see me flicking the switch because it's swapping between the speed limiter and the sp cruise control. Leave it in the middle, it's it just manual driving. Dash comes up with things like uh, black ice warning and the usual stuff, which is nice. And besides that, it's it's an okay car. I mean, the, compared to the old Clio, it's it's on, it's moved along from more of a Panda, you know, <laughs> where the old Clio was more like a Fiat Panda style car, where this new one's more in line with an Astra, Vauxhall Astra. Uh, build quality is pretty good. The other thing I don't like is these plastic 
hand, uh, door handles because I can see them getting scratched. You know, if you're wearing a ring, bring it, tap it, and now and again I can see a diamond putting a nice scratch in the, the top of that that you'll never get rid of. Uh, but besides that, there's nothing really negative on the car. You know, the except maybe the blowers because um, we've had a bit of frost this week and they, they do seem to be. Uh, pretty slow at defrosting the screen compared to what I would normally have in a Vauxhall or a Ford so that's that's the only downside but everything else is nice this the stitching on the seats good you know is comfy as well um, the only thing I do find a little bit uncomfortable is the level of the uh, where my elbow sits on the on the window because uh, I, I normally drive like this <laughs> so I ended up yesterday because I had to go to London and back with a sore elbow because of the angle it sort of sits on but that, that's obviously affects me personally because of my height uh, not that I'm a leprechaun or something it's just that my actual height level in this car leaves my elbow slightly higher than it's comfortable for me but it's like that joke you know when, when somebody says that my arm hurts when I do that well don't do it then so it's one of those things <laughs> Uh, the speedo, uh, your, sp your speedometer, is digital as well, which is something I don't really... It's not that I don't like it, I just don't see the point. Um, but that's just a personal thing for me. But the rest of the car is fantastic, I like it. Um, it's a little bit small for me for using long term, because one of the things, when I have my sunglasses on like I did yesterday, they're touching the ceiling, um, which... It's, it's just not comfortable <laughs> um, but yeah it's a nice enough car uh, fuel wise going to London and back was about was about 130 140 miles maybe and that cost me about 14 pounds each way uh, so about 30 quid for 200 and about 280 miles uh, which is less than the, the Mercedes A180 I, I had. So, fuel economy is not as good as the A180. But then again, the price tag will be slightly different as well. <laughs> but, thanks for watching.